Hello everyone, I am Ilgın Sandalcı from Özyen University from Turkey. Today I will mention about our study, which is also my master thesis related to bio-based, bio-based, self-healing cement-based mortar. As all we know, concrete is the second most used material due to the urbanization. Because of the cement content, the concrete induced approximately 8% of global emission. It is required to make the concrete industry more sustainable and decrease the carbon dioxide emission. Unfortunately, it is challenging to make concrete environmental friendly by not using cement. Therefore, when we take, take account of high carbon dioxide emission capacity of the transportation and product production phase of concrete or cement, one way to reduce the environmental impact of the concrete is to increase the service life of the existing construction. For extending the service life of the existing construction, it is required to provide and protect durability of the concrete. Chemical and the physical uh, durability of the concrete and the reinforcement in the concrete directly affect the maintenance of the existing construction. Micro cracks have a high amount of contribution to acute durability problems as carbonation, corrosion, abrosion, and so on, due to the increased permeability of the concrete and unable to infiltrate detrimental components. In order to preserve the durability of the concrete instead of traditional cement-based uh, repair methods, sustainable self-healing methods can be applied. Microbial induced calcite uh, precipitation is a promising technology to remedy micro cracking in concrete and decrease the ingress of the detrimental components. To provide a self-healing mechanism through microbial induced calcite precipitation, it is required to select a suitable bacterial culture and incorporate the cells with the corresponding nutrients to create a proper, proper environment for crack closure. Therefore, the main challenge uh, of the application is finding microorganisms can tolerate highly alkaline conditions of the cement base and can survive the mixing process and can remain viable with limited access to the nutrients. Our pre previous studies conducted by Dr. Zeynep Basharan Bundur, Sporosarkina pastoris cells was found to be viable up to 11 months and then they directly um, added to the mixture and, the, and this methodology affect the healing of the cracks in seven seven old day samples, but limited viability of the nutrients and the lack of the oxygen decrease the amount of calcium carbonate precipitation through to crack that. Therefore, this situation led to present different encapsulation methodologies. The encapsulation method based on embedded mineral to the uh, protective covering as a natural mineral, uh, polymeric membrane and lightweight aggregate and so on. In this study, we use natural minerals by considering the transportation and transportation criteria and local uh, material usage criteria of the sustainable development. We use zeolite and bentonite in this study. Bentonite and zeolite average particle size are 20 and uh, 200 micrometers respectively, and their absorption capacity is 325% respectively. For immobilization bacteria cells to the minerals, half of the mineral submerged with the viable uh, bacteria cells by using uh, PBS buffer, uh, phos phosphate buffer solution, at which pH is nine, and the other half of the mineral were submerged with the nutrient medium, which include calcium and urea sources. You can see the same images before immobilization of bentonite and zeolite, and after immobilization, uh, you can see the SEM images. Actually, that these images give up, gave us a clue about the results. For analyzing self-healing ability of the natural minerals with bacteria cells, two different set of samples were tested. First one is uh, the cement-based mortar, which bacteria cells immobilize the natural minerals. 
And the second one, the cement-based mortar, including uh, natural minerals without any bacteria cells. The samples were removed from the curing environment after 28 days, and they were cracked under three-point flexural loading and 0.35 to 0.40 millimeter cracks were formed. We applied two different uh, curing conditions. First one, a set of crank samples were cured in water, and another set, were, set was cured in nutrient medium, which contained, again, urea and calcium acetate. The curing process was done by uh, submerging the samples to the curing solution for two days and leaving them at the ambient conditions for two days. Crack beams are periodically uh, observed under steel microscope. Uh, the percent of the crack closure was determined by a Java-based image processing program, which called ImageG. The crack white measurements were taken at 10 different points on each crack sample after 7, 14, 21, and 28 days of curing. The crack closure was uh, calculated according to this formula, and when we look at the bentonite, uh, we observe full crack sealing in 14 days, which cured under the nutrients medium. It, it might be related to the high absorption capacity of the bentonite and suitable pore size, which two micrometer bacteria cells can easily place. And when we look at the SEM, analysis and FTR analysis, uh, we can say that calcite and materite was the dominant uh, crystal within the cracks. And moreover, there was a, a rough shape in bacteria indications, which you can, which illustrated with the red arrows. So we can say that uh, the bacteria cells were immobilized in the bentonite and triggered, triggered to uh, microbial-induced calcite precipitation. When we look at the zeolite, we didn't observe e efficient crack closure samples uh, with bacteria, but on the other hand, samples containing zeolite without bacteria cells under the water curing, we observed 70% crack closure. And we observed 33% uh, crack, uh, crack closure at the samples uh, without bacteria, cured in uh, nutrient medium. The high uh, crack closure uh, was observed in water cure samples. It can be related to the reactivity of the zeolite. A zeolite can be classified as a natural pozzolan. Moreover, cation can content and ease of cation exchange in the zeolite are important for short-term reactivity. When we compared the calcium and sodium exchange, potassium exchange could react very fast. And in this study, we used kleptonite zeolite, uh, which contains uh, 2.5 to 3.8% uh, potassium dioxide and calcium oxide, which also affects the uh, reactivity of the zeolite. And we observe uh, the veterite and CSH gels at the uh, uh, SEM and FDR analysis at the sample uh, without bacteria cured in water. And moreover, uh, the crack sealing in zeolite samples uh, cured in nutrient medium was found to be less efficient when this, uh, it can be related to the nutrient medium contained additional calcium source and pH is nine, which might affect the cation exchange in the zeolite and reducing it is reactivity. When we, uh, when we look at the water absorption, we, uh, the selfing ability was evaluated by determining the change in water absorption by applying the Rylum 25 procedure. Uh, incompatible with the uh, um, crack closure image, bentonite uh, shows a water absorption coefficient which almost equal to the no crack samples. But on the other hand, when we look at the zeolite sample cured in water cure and has a efficient uh, crack closure, which is 70%, we didn't observe same efficiency at the water absorption. It can be related to quality of, of the precipitation, which is waterite, which is the uh, 
not stable as the calcite precipitation. Uh, shrinkage and the corrosion are the most common um, durability problems at institute. So we tested uh, free shrinkage firstly, and according to the ASTM standard, we uh, prepared samples and during 16 weeks, we uh, the length of the samples were measured and the weight of the samples were measured. According to the result, we can easily say that adding of the natural mineral and the bacteria increased the shrinkage of the samples. But on the other hand, we didn't observe any cracks and also we didn't heal. So we decided to uh, increase the scale of the uh, samples and we restrained the samples with the steel bars. Incompatible with the free shrinkage results, uh, first, we observed micro cracks at the samples, including bentonite and uh, bacteria. And we started curing by spraying the samples with the uh, uh, nutrient medium solution. And it is still continue. Corrosion. Uh, we cast the samples, uh, both including bacteria and without bacteria. We occurred a crack uh, four millimeter wide and 16 millimeter depth by using steel plates. And then after casting, we put samples, we left samples 14 days and mean condition. Then after the 14 days, we put our samples containing bacteria uh, at the nutrient medium, submerged with the nutrient medium for 28 days. When we observed 80% uh, crack healing, we put our samples to the our corrosion setup. In that corrosion setup, we, we applied 40 volt uh, electric, supply, uh, electric supply. We connected with the electric supply of rebars at the sample, and we uh, submerged our sample with the uh, 3.5% uh, sodium chloride solution during seven days. Unfortunately, this part of the uh, study was unsuccessful, so we didn't observe any uh, corrosion. But first, we tried the half potential test. It says that your samples containing bacteria were corroded, but when we applied the pull out test, we didn't observe any uh, uh, corrosion, and also that our rebars. Uh, didn't yield from the crack uh, place. To sum up, bentonite could be used to immobilize as pasteurized cells, and this methodology can be uh, could be used for healing cracks as wide as 0.4 millimeters. Water absorption was reduced due to the crack sealing, and when we compare all of our studies, we can say that a significant decrease in water absorption can only be achieved if a visual crack healing of at least 60% 60, 60 was obtained. Moreover, our SEM and FTR results show that mostly calcite was the main polymorph true to biomineralization cracks. When we look at the kleptonite zeolite, we can easily say that zeolite was not suitable bedding for bacteria cells. This was attributed to limited pore size of zeolite. Therefore, the most of the bacteria cells were absorbed on the uh, surface of the zeolite. If the bacteria cells were not embedded in the natural mineral, they might be more prone to negative impacts of the high alkaline conditions of the cement base. Therefore, the most of the bacteria cells could be there. But on the other hand, we can say that kleptonized zeolite was found to be reactive and efficient to heal the cracks without incorporation of the bacteria cells. And moreover, at high pH, reduced the reactivity of the zeolites. Finally, lastly, in future works, uh, I should adapt a new method for the corrosion testing because I will submit my master thesis. So uh, I will um, try the corrosion for both chloride-induced corrosion and carbonation-induced corrosion. For chlor chloride-induced corrosion, I, I will find a new methodology for carbonation-induced corrosion. I will use accelerated carbonation chamber. And moreover, we will apply this self-healing mechanism to the institute. Uh, we apply this self-healing mechanism for the insulation plaster, which white is less than four millimeters. This research was conducted by financial assistance of the Scientific and Technical Research Council of Turkey project. Thank you for listening.
thank you for nice presentation you have i have two questions for you first of all uh maybe you mentioned i didn't catch it uh how did you make your cracks i mean how do you how did you prepare we use cracks? three point banding test machine okay mm -hmm. and also we add fibers for that uh, limited the crack uh, white because uh, if you don't use fiber the crack white is more than all points four millimeters so we use fibers and the second question is, uh, well, these bacterium needs uh, to get activated by uh, the crack uh, happenstance. I mean, uh, how, how do you make sure that this uh, bacterium can live on? For example, if that crack appears after 10 years. So Actually, we apply a reliability test after uh, we observed, uh, for I can talk for the bentonite, we observed uh, one uh, hundred percent uh, crack healing. We apply reliability test. We uh, take a particle from the cracked uh, depth and we put it into the nutrient medium and we reactivate the uh, bacteria again. And we test it uh, on putting them to the um, uh, petri caps and we observe and we measure and we calculate how I can say that the bacteria number. So we observed that the bacteria is still alive. Still alive. Okay. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.